Here's how I thought about using MoGraph effectors in Blender. It's pretty straightforward. So let's look at an example with a cloner. First, drag the cloner onto the mesh you want to clone. In my case, it's the cube. Now you can play with the count, radius, and rotation settings. Now, if you want to animate according to a falloff, drag the falloff onto the mesh. Otherwise, ignore this step. The falloff needs a reference object to move. Here we use an empty that we changed to a cube in its settings. We can now move on to transformations. I choose a simple transform and reference the falloff on the modifier. Don't forget to check use falloff. Now everything's done. Just change the settings on the modifier transform to see the effector in action. You can change the falloff. Don't forget to reference it again.